Hello, my fumble family. The time has come. Huh? The, the time for what? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked, little Caden. The time to make a brand new Roblox face because Roblox deleted my previous custom Roblox face. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go have a diarrhea. Okay. <laughs> Ew. Um, anyways, today we're gonna be making a custom-made Roblox face for those of you who haven't seen a video like this in the past. Allow me to quickly explain. So long story short, you can upload any face you want to Roblox and wear it for completely free. Only you will be able to see this unless you share photos or videos of it. But here's one that I've made in the past, so you can make them look like anything. But today, I've got something special in mind. Let me show you how to do this and then I'll show you what I got. Okay, so first of all, you just right-click on Roblox and then open up Roblox Player then right click on that again and press open file location after that click on content then go down to textures and then scroll until you see somebody named face should look like a roblox new if you drag this into a photo editing program like so you can then customize it and then paste it back in that folder and it will become your roblox default face so today i'm going to be taking the roblox stitch face the most infamous face on all of the platform and i'm going to make it cool in multiple different ways in the past i made an anime version of the stitch face looks like this my cup deku <sighs> But today, I'm going to make multiple different anime versions of it, such as a cute version of the Stitch Face, which many of you do not think is possible, but believe me, these hands can work miracles. Let's go. Okay, so those of you who know me probably know that I have no skills whatsoever, so I'm not drawing the faces today. I'm just using stock photos that I paid for, and I have a whole butt ton of them, so there's a lot of different things that I can use to customize this Stitch Face. I think I'm going to start off by making an accurately still angry but cute anime face. It's gonna be weird, but let's see how it looks. First things first, we don't even freaking need those giant angry eyebrows of yours anymore, Stitch Face. We're just gonna slice those things clean off. You're blind. Then open up the anime eyes that we want to work with today. Uh, I think there's one that specifically looks very angry. It's perfect for the Stitch Face. Now we start splicing them together and see what kind of strange monstrosity comes out of this. We're gonna have to get rid of that anime mouth because it's too adorable. It does not fit the Stitch Face. And bam! <laughs> You have an adorable stitch face. Um, I think we could work on the mouth a little bit, so let's try it out. I have custom made stitches here, uh, so we can make the stitches on the mouth look a little bit like less disturbing and thick. We're just gonna go ahead and take this bad boy here. I've got an idea. Okay, bam! We added some extra detail to the stitch face, which I think really cleaned it up and made it look a lot better. Now we're gonna get rid of the thick thumb-like stitches that they have here and replace them with some more finer lines. Okay, stitch face is looking a lot more clean. Now we're gonna add our own stitches to it because, well, it does need stitches to be the stitch face. Now we take those bad boys and place them behind it. Bam! We've got a pretty freaking decent looking stitch face, I would say. Personally, I, I would rather wear this than most stitch faces. The last thing I noticed is that the eyebrows are definitely not unibrow -y or angry enough to be the stitch face So we, we're gonna have to fix that we could simply do this and it would it would work very nicely But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna make it look better better than that And we shall do so with precision and carefulness or something like that color those things in make them a little thicker these eyebrows are looking good. It's like Cara de la Stitch Face. Okay, okay, we've definitely made the eyebrows look a little bit angrier. I think we could probably add some girth to those bad boys, make them a bit thicker. I feel like connecting the ultimate unibrow on this one just wouldn't fit right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some hairs in between that imply that the unibrow is forming at the moment. And bam, I present to you the Kawaii Roblox Stitch Face. Actually, the final touch must be applied. Bam. Bam. Now we've got the blushing kawaii roblox anime stitch face. Voila! View the masterpiece and try not to scream in fear while you stare at this ugly disaster. <laughs> now it's time to upload it to Roblox and see what it looks like. Look at all these cursed faces that are just piling up from all the cursed face videos I've done. Okay, I've got my model Darman Tempest here and I'm going to uh, take their face off real fast so that we may try our new face on. Here is the ultimate reveal. The kawaii stitch face on a beautiful model looks like this. Dun, 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 dun. Oh god, why? Honestly, though, I mean, honestly, I would kiss that. That's a beautiful face right there. And not just because it's temperous, actually, just because it's temperous. But still, it's pretty dang good, honestly. It could have been a lot worse. I mean, if you think about the actual Stitch face, it's, no offense, it's pretty bad. But like this, I mean, hmm, well, they got the fine lines in between the unibrow. They got the big, thick stitches. And they got two adorable anime eyes. I mean, the real Stitch face has nothing on 
on this. Now that you've seen it on a model, let's see it in game and on a bunch of different people in the Fumble family. Okay, so in order to put your Roblox face on your character, you first have to shrink it down to the size of the Roblox face that's in your folder. And bam, now I have a teeny version of the Kawaii anime Stitch face. Now we can put it onto our Roblox avatars and see how it looks. Okay, here we are in Barbie Dreamhouse roleplay, of course, because that's the perfect place to test your face. And I am not revealing the face yet because I'm about to invite a bunch of Fumble family members into the server who are also gonna be wearing this face. Okay, people are starting to pour into the server, so let's reveal the face. Oh wait, that's actually adorable! Like I said before, as you can tell, my avatar is also friggin' adorable. Rocking the Fumble Fam beanie and many other cute accessories, but dang! Don't we all look pretty dang good with our kawaii stitch face? And actually, that looked really good with your avatar, B. Thanks for coming, everyone. Now let me stare at your abomination stitch faces that actually look really good on these avatars. I feel like we made something decent. Like, Roblox Slenders, if you're trying to up your game, you should hire me. I can make some freaking good faces with you know free stock images this is awesome <laughs> i mean i can't see your face but it's pretty much equivalent to how terrifying the one we made today is look at pepper rocking the face and you you've got a mask on but i can still see those adorable eyes through that mask even though you're spinning and making it so i cannot stare at your beautiful eyes i want to slap that hat off your fat they said face oh you think this is a fat face i i worked very hard on this face it's beautiful take this Kaden, I'm literally in math class. Well, guess what? You're in math class, but you're also having the time of your life at the best face reveal of all time. Molly here says, monkey. Thanks, Molly. Is it just me or does Kaden look extra handsome? Well, I, you know, I, I do think you're correct about that. I am looking pretty handsome, and so are you, my friend. Farts epically. Nice. All right, I'd say we made a pretty successful face today. Uh, everyone seems to be rocking it pretty good. Usually, I scream in terror, but I think I think this one's actually pretty decent. So thank you so much, my Fumble family, for coming in here and testing out the wonderful new kawaii stitch face with me. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking the video, commenting down below, and subscribing if you haven't already, because that does help help me out a whole butt ton. And if you want me to do another face video, please let me know. Until next time, thanks so much for watching all the way to the end of the video and goodbye. Ooh.